The following past paper question reads that the value of the equilibrium constant Kc for the reaction to form ethyl ethanoate, uh, which is uh, this thing over here. So this ethyl ethanoate is being formed. This is ethyl ethanoate. Uh, and it's being formed from ethanol and ethanoic acid and the value is given as 4 so the so the value of Kc is given it's uh, it's given as 4 and uh, uh, the question then states when one mole of ethanol and one mole of ethanoic acid are allowed to reach equilibrium at 60 degrees centigrade what is the number of moles of ethyl ethanoate formed so I've uh, copied the equation over here and I'm now going to draw a table so uh, the and I'm going to write down the initial moles of uh, ethanol, ethanoic acid, ethyl ethanoate, and water molecules initially. So so initially it states that one mole of ethanol. So initially you had one mole for ethanol and you had one mole of ethanoic acid and they were mixed and no other substance they allowed to reach equilibrium. So nothing else was added. So initially you had zero moles of uh, this ester and zero moles of water as well and at equilibrium um, we he's asking what is the number of moles of uh, ethyl ethanoate formed at equilibrium now I have the initial moles and uh, of all the four substances but I don't know what the equilibrium moles are I don't know how much of the ethanol actually reacted uh, to form ethyl ethanoate so I'm going to assume a value let's say that x moles of ethanol reacted now if x moles of ethanol reacted then uh, the equation uh, the ratio in which ethanol reacts with ethanoic acid is 1 ratio 1 so if x moles of ethanol reacted that would mean that x moles of ethanoic acid would also react so that indicates that uh, if x moles of ethanol reacted then x moles of ethanoic acid would also react with it now and similarly the equation uh, the ratio of the product says that if one ethanol reacts with one ethanoic acid one ester is produced and one water molecule is produced so if X reacted with X ethanoic acid then X esters would be produced and X moles of water would be produced so so X moles of this ester ethyl ethanoate would be produced similarly X moles of water molecules would also be produced uh, the reason all of them are X is because the equation ratios are 1 ratio 1 so if one reacts with one produces one and produces one water molecule so if X reacted with X ethanoic acid then X ethyl ethanoate would be formed and X uh, water molecules would be produced so what are the equilibrium moles in terms of X now initially we had one mole of ethanol and if X reacted the number of moles of ethanol that would be left at equilibrium would be 1 minus x. So it's going to be 1 minus x moles of ethanol. Similarly, the number of moles of ethanoic acid initially is 1 mole. So if x moles reacted, the number of moles left at equilibrium are again 1 minus x moles. And on the other side, you have ethyl ethanoate. Initially, you had zero moles. There was no ethyl ethanoate, but if X moles are produced, so the total moles at equilibrium that are left at equilibrium would be would be X because initially you had zero moles. So X moles of ethyl ethanoate, and for water the same would be true as well. You would have X moles of water because initially you had zero moles of water, and at equilibrium, if uh, X moles are produced, that would mean that the overall moles at equilibrium would be x so now you have all the equilibrium moles in terms of x and uh, we have the value of kc and we can write down the expression and use the equilibrium moles in the expression to find the value of x now so i have written down the expression for kc now uh, kc is the uh, the ratio of the concentration of products divided by the ratio of the concentration of reactants so so the products are written on top in the numerator and the concentration of the reactants are in the denominator and I'm going to substitute these values that we just calculated so the value of Kc is also given it's 4 so that's already given in the question so 4 is equal to uh, uh, ethyl ethanoate is x moles water is also x moles so it's going to be x multiplied by x that's your product divided by uh, the moles of 
ethanol which is 1 minus 6 and moles of ethanoic acid which is 1 minus 6 so it's going to be 1 minus 6 multiplied by 1 minus 6 remember I'm not using concentration uh, in the expression or in, in the values I'm using moles instead uh, the reason I'm using moles is because concentration is moles over volume so even if I divide I don't know what the volume is so even if I take the volume of the solution as V and I divide everything by V X by V that would give me concentration but if I put the values in terms of V in the expression all the V's are going to get cancelled out the reason they're going to get cancelled out is because it's a, it's a, over here the, uh, the the moles of products and the moles of reactants are the same so it's a, so kc has no unit in this particular case and the v's are going to get cancelled out so there's no point in finding out the concentration you can do away with v and directly put moles in the expression and it would work perfectly fine now i'm going to try and solve uh, and find the value of x so uh, since this is basically equal to x squared over 1 minus x squared uh, I'm going to take the under root on both sides and by taking the under root on both sides I can get rid of the of the square term so it's going to be plus minus 2 that's the under root of 4 and on the other side I would have x over 1 minus x now this is going to give me two values because two has two values it's plus and minus two so i'm going to i'm going to uh, solve for plus two first so it's going to be uh plus two multiplied by one minus x so it's going to be two minus two x and that's equal to x getting x on the other side it's going to become uh it's going to become two is equal to minus two x goes on the other side that's going to be plus three x and x would be equal to two by so that is what I get if I take plus 2 on the other hand if I take minus 2 then it's going to be minus 2 plus 2x is equal to x if I try to solve that uh, if I bring minus 2x on the other side it's going to give me minus 2 is equal to uh, it's going to give me minus x so x comes out to be equal to 2 so I'm getting two values for x one is 2 and the other one is 2 by 3 now I can't take 2 as a value the reason is that if I place 2 in and, and try to find the equilibrium moles then 1 minus 2 is going to give me minus 1 moles which is not possible uh, moles are never negative so it's not possible uh, so I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take I'm not going to take 2 I'm going to take 2 by 3 as the value so 1 minus 2 by 3 gives me 1 by 3 so 1 minus 2 by 3 gives me 1 by 3 this is also 1 by 3 and this would uh, x would be 2 by 3 so that's 2 by 3 this is also 2 by 3 now moving back to the question we've already found the moles uh, we found the value of x and we substituted it in the equilibrium moles that is what we were looking for and the question wanted to wanted to calculate the number of moles of ethyl ethanoate and the number of moles of ethyl ethanoate initially was zero now they are two two by three so the correct option is going to be it's going to be option b in this question